Okay. We're back. I don't want to uh, waste too much time. We're going to get started ASAP. I reconfigured my uh, Streamlab interface here, so I gotta figure that out. Hello, Karma. Thank you for coming on this rarest, rarest of Friday streams. I don't remember if I've ever streamed on Friday before. If I have, it may have only been like once. So we're gonna see how this works out. We're doing, we're going two hours tops today, and that's it. It's gonna be some uh, experimentation and. Uh, We're gonna do some experimenting with some uh, <laughs> first of all some experimenting with uh, as you guys can see and I'm gonna switch cameras right away got some black paper today I have never used this before this is the first page out of the pad Hoping to come up with a couple of interesting things out of this tonight. And we're going, we're doing Carnage tonight. We did uh, Venom this past Saturday. Make sure everybody can see okay. This might actually end up being better to keep this cord here under my arm and behind my back. Got fancy. <laughs> you got microns in the jelly roll pens finally. Great. How how are they working out for you? Are you just absolutely loving them or what? Uh, fortunately, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see until I start doing stuff with it. trying out a stream this evening or tomorrow uh, I'll uh, keep an eye out and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to check it out so like I said we're uh, doing some experimentation today with uh, black paper and some opaque paint and I want to see how this watercolor stuff works and interacts with this paper which I have never used like I said we're drawing uh, carnage today so there's all kinds of opportunities for me to do all kinds of crazy amorphous pseudo shapes <laughs> Mr. General's ready to be mind blown by my crimes you'll find out very quickly with the microns if, you, if they're uh, really your thing or not and I've seen the work that you do and you do a lot and uh, the work that I've seen you do does include a lot of fine details and a lot of uh, a lot of very thin, intricate lines and, and patterns. So I think I think that might be right up your alley. Really, the those those pens might be exactly what you what you're looking for.
was a fun. <laughs> Thanks for the photo you shared. It was helpful. Yeah, I was uh, in the city last week, and I um, shared. Uh, I, I stopped by my favorite uh, local art supply store, and, and while I was there, it was the day after uh, my stream where myself and, and Carmen and some friends had talked about uh, art supplies and microns in particular. And I mentioned them to her, and I said I'd take pictures if I remember to. And I, for a change, I actually remembered to, and uh, was able to communicate that. So that's cool. I'm glad I was able to help. see a decent amount over here see I don't want to put too much light I don't want to put too much light on this page because then you know it won't you won't get the you won't get the effect of that it's really black paper <laughs> but I'll see what I can do like I said, we're uh, we're experimenting a little. There's a Friday scheme. We go back to school next week. Um, was this like? Uh, was this like a spring break thing, or was it a quarantine-related thing, or... I'm not sure what, uh, how schools, how school's been operating lately, particularly not schools in, uh, your part of the, uh, United States right now, so... Yes, we got a spring break. Were you able to go anywhere, or is that still not uh, not not much of a reality right now? Uh, certainly not for me. Supplies are growing more here. It's getting better in uh, California, but still saying so. Oh, that's good. That's probably the uh, smartest thing you could do right now. I um, I was also on vacation technically last week, but you know I was, I'm still not able to really go anywhere. Uh, or I. Guess I, I guess I could go somewhere, but I really would not consider it a responsible thing to do right now. Um, I have, I finally have my vaccine appointment. I will be getting it next week. And when I do, then I'll be much, I'll feel a lot more confident about making travel plans and uh, being able to see my family again, uh, at least seeing them again for uh, much happier reasons than the last time I, than the last time I saw them.
this is about all I want to do right now because I want to. I don't want to. I actually don't want to overdraw this too much. Hmm. And that right there is probably a good reason against keeping my keeping my headphone cord over here. Still no works to get a vaccine out. Visits go smooth as they can. It's a great opportunity to connect. Yeah, with a few exceptions, I haven't seen a few people in my family for over a year, so because they all live in Florida. So uh, it's something I'm looking forward to. All right. First thing I want to try, I want to see, I want to try the uh, transparent watercolors, and I want to see how transparent they are on this page. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try this stuff. Hmm. That's actually fairly. That's actually fairly opaque as it is. I'll certainly be going back into that a little bit more. But that's good. That works. That's something I want to see how far I can uh, take it. All roommates moved to Florida. Your first kind of nice to know what negative experiences you had in the household. Uh, yes, I, I'm quite well experienced with uh, having bad roommates, so... Not terrible roommates, but just roommates that, uh... That you don't get along with, and the, uh... If you find, if you're able to find, uh, roommates that you can get along with, then, uh... Yeah, do whatever you can to keep them around. <laughs> gonna stick to this red just because it shows up a little bit more on the page so you guys can see it I'd say the only issue I'm actually running into with this paint is that, or with this paper this paper it seems really cool it's just really absorbent it's super super absorbent and I have to keep you know I can't the, this paint's not going very far with it with the paint this uh, this absorbent so now I gotta keep going into into here Suddenly, this is looking really cool, but it's also the uh, possibility of getting this all done today is immediately starting to look less likely. <laughs> and if that happens, I will probably finish it tomorrow uh, after the uh, Sketchbook Saturday stuff is done, which is a uh, good incentive for people to come back. We'll work for a bit to get some lunch, man. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's three o'clock. Where you, it's it's three uh, three eighteen p.m. Where you guys are. It's still technically uh, it's it's late lunch time. Okay, well, enjoy your late lunch. Or maybe that's an maybe that's an early lunch for you. I don't know. Everybody's different.
Let's see, I forgot this. Uh... When I first got this this paper, like I was looking for black watercolor paper, which I know exists, but uh, apparently it's not in high demand. It wasn't. I wasn't able to find it in my my usual store. This stuff that I got is considered uh, mixed media, which um, generally speaking, mix the difference between mixed media paper and uh, watercolor papers. Mixed media stuff tends to be the, the the paper stock tends to be a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. Um, Sometimes that results in a paper that is more absorbent, as we're seeing right now. Now, my job here is to start figuring out how that works, how that will work with the uh, materials that I'm using, and how to take that and use the properties of this paper to my advantage. Being an artist that works, you know, that likes working in a lot of different media, works likes working with a lot of different tools and a lot of different materials, and sometimes materials, working with materials for the first time, certain uh, tools and materials for the first time, means, I mean, part of, a big part of uh, whatever what any and every artist does is a lot of it is uh, preparation. But another important part is adaptation. Sometimes you got to adapt to materials that work in unpredictable ways. And if you're anything like me, sometimes that's half the fun.
actually, before I do that, I'm gonna do something else. And that is. Here. One of the few other colors that's gonna show up here besides red. This is also a good time to test just how absorbent this paper is. I'm going to try to make this as transparent as possible and see how how much of this paint this paper is capable of absorbing. And it's looking like quite a bit. So I may be doing this for a minute. See what I can do with the uh... sorry once I dry this excuse me
Sorry about that. Just tagging somebody in something. Back to our show. like the paper so far it's interesting it's uh like i said it's really absorbent so i wasn't expecting that but i'm trying to very quickly learn how to work with it especially for what i was hoping to be able to do and now i kind of wonder how well this is going to work out which is and i'll see if i can try it now handy. I was not expecting to roll that far. I'm going to keep this handy and make this super wet. I'm going to do one of these. Now, introduce this, and this, and this. Okay, that worked better than I thought it would. Oh, note to self, do not get carried away with this. If there was ever going to be something where this would make a very good experiment for this particular technique, 
It would be carnage. go back to something else while I put this to one side because I used it a lot and now it's getting cold in my hand and that's what happens with the compressed air sprays I'm gonna go back and uh, add some more here and I think to a certain extent this is as close as I'm gonna get to an opaque color with this paint on this paper which this is good but I need it even more solid than this so we're gonna dry this and we're gonna gouache it excuse me solid after the layers gouache I don't work with gouache either but I want to do it right things. here's the thing I'm sure if I applied enough layers to this eventually it would be pretty solid and pretty opaque but uh, I'm really impatient so <laughs> so I don't feel like waiting that long so I'm gonna gouache so I'm gonna use a gouache now oof man did I not cap this properly? Ah, oh, that would suck if this just got all completely dried in the tube. Let's see. Hopefully it's only at the at the end here. I can reawaken it a little bit. At least you admit it, yeah. This is why I work in uh, pencil and ink so much, is because ink dries fast, for the most part, compared to some other things. It's also why I, work, why I work with watercolor, because watercolor dries pretty fast. And because it's easy to make changes too, if I decide I wanna make changes. Oof. Uh, come on. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Just trying to escape. Damn. But I cap this properly. Always cap your paints properly, man, because this is what happens when you don't.
take some of this paint off of the outside of this cap, this tip, so that I can actually put the cap back on it the way it's supposed to be. This will probably, I can probably nurse that back to health eventually, but right now, I'll just make sure that it's on correctly. See? That's how it's supposed to be. This is the problem when you get too impatient for things that you need patience for, is this. You know, you're in a big hurry, you put the cap incorrectly on your tube of paint, and then your tube of paint dries inside the tube, and then you have to kind of resuscitate it. Don't be like me in that way. Too patient sometimes. I wish I was less impatient, but uh, take that back. <laughs> they also say, uh, you know, they also say patience comes with age. So if you can imagine, at some point, I was actually even less patient than I am now. I was even more impatient than I, than I am now. Once upon a time. some new paint. Oh, cool. That's nice. I think you, you didn't you say you, 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 uh, you, <laughs> you will most likely not be able to help me clarify this. Does, po uh, does Poison Ivy have red or pink hair? Um, in just about every comic and, uh, TV show I've ever seen, uh, her hair is red. That's not to say that, uh, that's not to say that her hair has never been pink in anything. I'm, I'm sure it's a possibility and it could probably look pretty cool, uh, with the, uh, with the right design. But, uh, strictly in terms of everything that I recall, that's uh, pink. Her hair is pink. Or her hair is uh, red. Must be my awful eyes. Uh, my eyes are pretty awful too, but uh, I've read enough comics to uh, be able to tell. I want to say they've even made her hair green uh, occasionally in some uh, things that I've read. I want to say I've seen that. As a matter of fact, I always forget. I can uh, I can make absolutely sure right now because what I'm thinking of is let's see here. Let's see, Batman, Dark Victory, uh, and in this, I always forget. It's such a it's. It's been a while since I've been able to do this. I mean, uh, you know, I've been in this apartment for over a year now, but it still feels like, you know, recently. Uh, because it felt like so long before I was able to do this. <laughs> Which is to literally, like, reach up from my drawing table and pull a book off the shelf that I need reference for. Huh. Uh. Heck was Poison Ivy's chapter in this?
Oh, crap. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, see? Green hair. Tim Sale is the name of the artist, and he, uh... He drew her with, uh... And the uh, colorist that he used, they drew her with uh, green hair. That didn't happen too often, though. Like, 99% of the stuff that I've read, her hair's, her hair's red. No, that was just an example of, like, something occasional. Like I said, her hair, 99% of the time and other things that I've read, her hair is, uh, her hair is red. It's one, it's absolutely red. Let's see if I got another good example up here somewhere. I don't think I do. I need more Batman. Trade paper backs. <sighs> okay, good. Green doesn't want to work. Well, it is Friday. We're all a little bit checked out today. The reason why I'm streaming on Friday was because I meant to stream yesterday. But uh, I just needed a day to kind of recover. I felt like I needed a, a day to, where I wasn't doing anything in particular. So Sometimes you just need a day. streaming tomorrow to bring a raid again. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably be going at the usual uh, the usual time of uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern which would be uh, that'd be 5 o'clock your time. And Saturdays I usually stream at 8. It used to be 7 but uh, I changed it. Well, like I always say, you're always welcome and raids are always appreciated, so...
I'm gonna poison ivy perler. That's cool. Here we go. And it comes back. And it goes. looking for. There are two. Creep show and tell. I don't know if you've talked about that on your Discord. I haven't been on in a couple of days, so I'm not sure what exactly that's in reference to. The stream as I'm trying to share a room for his viewers. He shares on a stream. His viewers make art and make friends through him sharing the community's art. That sounds great. Wish I'd have thought of that. 
but uh, I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for my own Discord server yet. Uh, sounds fun though. Thanks. Yeah, I had a feeling, uh, you know, I was hesitant to do this uh, on this stream that I knew I was going, that I was going to have a time limit on, but I wanted to start something new today. I didn't want to continue a previous work in progress, even though I've got one or two of those. Um, and I was really wanting to see what was up with this... Uh, I really wanted to see what was up with this black paper, and I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. I'm still not quite sure where exactly I'm, I'm going to be taking it, but for now, it's really producing some cool uh, effects here. Yes, there's a uh... what I'm uh, trying to accomplish here is uh... trying to give only the vaguest indications that this is a very loosely human shaped creature uh, Carnage as a character has been around for I think around 30 years with this fun black paper. Thanks, and thanks for dropping by, Karma. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Uh, as I was saying, uh, there have been a couple of different, you know, interpretations of uh, Carnage over the years. Uh, Some artists uh, draw him looking more like, looking more human. 
and some artists really lean into making him look more like a monster. I grew up reading, you know, a lot more human, uh, reading about, reading, uh, much more human looking carnage than, uh, than not. Not to, not to remind anybody else of how old I am, myself most of all, but, uh, I was there for the, you know, for Carnage's first appearance. I have a very well-read copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 361. That is the first full appearance of Carnage. And, uh... Those were sort of the glory days of me, of uh, my Spider-Man reading in the early 90s. And um, the way Carnage was drawn there by Mark Bagley, who basically designed him, uh, was he was in a, he was in a pretty identifiable, he was in the pretty identifiable shape of a human being, but... He also looked like he was, you know, it all, he was also drawn in such a way that uh, he looked like he was only holding that shape because he felt like it and that he could change. He looked in such a way like he could change his shape at any time, which is kind of what I like and kind of how I choose to uh, split that difference, I guess. also like in uh, you know especially with characters and creatures that are meant to be horrifying and meant to be scary I like a I like characters that uh, are inexplicably strong characters that don't look in any way like they should be able to you know lift you over their head or, you know, lift you up by, lift a, you know, human being up by their throat or whatever, but they still do. Sometimes that doesn't work, like, you know, when there should be, you know, when there's no logical reason for that to be the case. But, uh... There's a pretty foolproof explanation for that when it comes to Carnage, and that is that he's bonded with an alien creature. So all rules go out the window. All laws and perceptions of physics go out the window. And we're just left with... this uh, horrifying monster who can take any shape it wants. It has this has unbelievable physical strength.
put a hand in here somewhere. Now comes the trickier part of adding some opaque color to this. See just how opaque I can get it and how opaque I'm gonna need to get it. Let's see. What I'm gonna do is this here. I got red. But I think I want to lighten that up even more. But not make it pink. Try to make it redder. Or a brighter red like this. Without making it straight up pink. Or pink. Let's see how we can go about doing that. I got gray here, but I also got gray here. So I'm gonna use that first because I don't think I'm gonna need much gray. At least not the gray that I'm planning on using. So this will light this will lighten the red. I don't know if it'll brighten it though. Mm, but it looks like it might. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, that's a way to go. That is a way to go. do that'll certainly do now I don't expect to go over every single inch of this that I've already done hey Tarek how's it going thank you glad you're enjoying it thanks for dropping by hope you stick around What I do hope to do is make these darker bits of red that have absorbed into the black paper look a little bit Oh hey Jason thing. Yeah, I tagged you on Facebook. I was hoping you'd stop by. I figured you liked this one. Took a minute to for to for me to realize it was you. Jason's an old friend.
but what I'm trying to do here is, uh, <laughs> oops, so great. My cough is beside the porch you did a car in <laughs> my face. Yeah, I'm glad you still have that. Uh, I'm using a couple of the same techniques that I did for that one. Um, for anyone that may be watching, uh, anybody else that may be watching, Jason actually commissioned, uh, A uh, carnage painting from me a few years ago that uh, was basically half was a face you know a bust portrait and half of it was carnage and half of it was him his face uh, because much like Cletus Cassidy uh, Jason is also an evil ginger When I did that, I did a lot of the same stuff that I did up here. The only difference is, and see, you'll dig this. You'll, you'll dig this, Jason. I'll show you. I'll see if I can do it with this paint. This paint's a little bit thicker. It may be a little bit harder to move, but let's find out. See, to get this effect, let me just do one of these. That's not bad. Now, when I did that for the old, you know, commission that I did for you, I actually used a straw and, you know, was blowing on the paint with a straw. And uh, that got real old real fast, so I had to figure out a much smarter way of doing it. And I did. Five years ago, hard to uh, Space is warped and time is bendable, man. Uh, I didn't realize it was that long ago. <laughs> but uh, I'll take your word for it. Uh, the last couple of years, the last like two years of my life have been kind of all over the place, so... It's hard for me to remember a lot of things. I do remember creating that art though. I really liked how it came out. That's gonna end up looking pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, that gouache that gouache, when that gouache goes flying from the, the compressed air, and it, this will stay about that opaque. It won't absorb into the paper as much. Or if it does, it will still be able to be seen. You'll still be able to see it. So that's going to... Thanks for the follow, by the way. Hope to see more of you around. Yeah. 
And as I was saying, I don't expect I'm going to get this all 100% finished tonight. Uh, I'm going to be wrapping this up in about half an hour. I'll probably get a good amount of it done, but there are probably a few things that I'll want to finish off. And I will do that tomorrow, either right before or right after I do my usual Sketchbook Saturday stuff. this out here it's definitely around it. let's see what I've seen Connie guys a little good see yeah, have a good night. Enjoy the movie. Uh, I'll be watching it tomorrow myself, so hopefully it's good. Have a good night. Probably about as good as I'm going to get it for now. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be debating for the next 24 hours. Uh, 
whether or not I want to add any black to this anywhere at all. I'm really not sure. I probably will. But I'm also probably going to be very, 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 very selective with where, when, and how I do. Also gonna throw this out there for anybody listening, and I'll probably be repeating this a couple of times in a couple of you know the streams that I do for the rest of the time uh, leading up to next weekend. But next weekend, I will probably if I do both Saturday, you know, Sketchbook Saturday and Simpson Sunday streams next week, I will probably be doing them very very early like early afternoon probably uh, I don't want to not do them at all but as some of you followed me for a while know I'm a big wrestling fan and uh, next weekend's Wrestlemania weekend and those tend to start quite early in the day and I'd rather not miss it. Although I'm not particularly excited by what they've got to offer this year. Uh, it's still worth, worth watching, I think. And uh, I'm usually watching with some friends, so even when it's not, you know, when the actual show's not worth watching, uh, it's still fun to hang out. Uh, because what you can't admire, and this is true of most media, what you can't admire, you can always riff. If it's not if it's not good it's always at least riffable <laughs> most of the time to this because uh, man I went through a lot of it and I'm gonna be going through some more it's actually probably a very good thing that I uh, bought some more of this exact same spectrum red paint last week in the same trip that I made where I got this this black paper and where I also had an incident, in, an incident involving my house keys, which uh, I'll probably share tomorrow. I don't, I don't want to have to get up right now. I'm almost done. I've gone the whole stream without getting up. Doesn't seem like a whole lot of point in trying to get up now. If I remember tomorrow, I'll uh, regale you all with the... Uh, with the, the house key incident tomorrow. Yeah, that was a 
was a little bit lighter than it probably needed to be. Ugh. It's gonna end up taking up the whole bottom of the page by the time I'm done with it and get it to an angle that I'm comfortable with. Jerk. See if we can create the illusion of some layered Working on up here too. Again, this is supposed to create the effect of having different shades of red on here. I don't know, I don't think it's gotten to that point where it, that effect comes through yet. But if, if I keep at it, I think it will. It's just gonna take some time. It's gonna take some layering. It's gonna take, I may have to, like I said, I may have to go back into some of this with black. I don't want to do if there was a way for me not to I'd do it but I'd rather have it work than have it I'd have it I'd rather have it work all the way than have it work partly just so that I you know do it the way you know the way that I originally planned to do it and that goes along with you know what I've said and you know to never to not allow yourself to become you know to get to the point where you're unwilling to adapt to make the artwork you're working on better
I'm gonna go about five, ten more minutes. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I wanna do here of any significance. Let's see if I can make something happen with this. Or if it's too. No. It's fine. I gotta re examine a bit of cover art that I've seen, and I'm really curious. And it's funny because now I'm following Jim Lee on Twitch. He's got a Twitch channel. I don't know how long he's had that channel, maybe longer than I even realized. But he did a cover for uh, Superman when he was drawing Superman for Tomorrow with Brian Azzarello about, sure, geez, uh, 10, 15 years ago. I don't remember exactly when it was. Maybe longer than that. Uh, but uh, he did a cover that it looked... It was really cool looking, and I wonder if maybe he did a technique similar to this. Stuff is nice and wet, and yeah, that's what was missing. about as much as I want to do to this right now without getting into some other things that would take too long for me to set up for right now. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. It was a short stream by my standards anyway. But I think we got a lot done. I think we got some proof of concept of a lot of cool stuff that uh, I can build on from here. And uh, this, black, this uh, black paper definitely has some potential that I plan on uh, exploiting heavily in the very near future. I'm gonna conclude this tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this piece tomorrow as part of the Sketchbook Saturday stream. Uh, I will probably be getting started at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, just keep an eye out for, for that. If you're interested in knowing when, I've, uh, when I'm going live, when I've been live, and uh, any and all projects, past and present, that you want to take a look at, you can follow me. I am Epic Benjamin J on all of the things. That includes Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. I uh, got a few new uh, YouTube videos uploaded, and I'm going to do my best to upload some more this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. You can see all of uh, my previous work and all my previous streams almost in their entirety. There's some uh, copyright issues uh, with some of those that uh, kind of forced me to mute parts of the stream, but I don't. I hopefully don't think that they're uh, distracting enough to uh, put you off of continuing to watch. I certainly hope not, and I certainly hope you do watch. But I want to thank everybody that dropped by. I want to thank. Uh, 
uh, thank uh, my friend Jason for uh, dropping by. Like I, I shouted him out on uh, Facebook because I know he's a huge Carnage fan, and I thought he dig this. So I'm glad he was able to check it out, <laughs> and hopefully you'll be seeing more of him around here too. <clears throat> I will be back tomorrow, and we will finish this. And I'm really looking forward to it now. Uh, so you can expect me. Uh, back in uh, tomorrow it might be a long one between sketchbook Saturday and finishing this uh, it'll be longer than usual and hopefully you'll uh, come prepared for that if you do decide to drop by and check it out it should be a very good time in the meantime thank you for coming thank you for being here hope to see you again soon always remember to never ever ever stop making friends through art always make friends through art whenever possible i'll be back tomorrow and until i see you then everybody please 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 remember stay safe laugh hard ride fast be kind